For Avengers Infinity War, the Russo brothers managed to successfully juggle a jam-packed, star-studded cast of characters without overwhelming anybody in the process. That being said, Infinity War did leave a few characters sidelined. Some, such as Ant-Man and Hawkeye, were completely absent, while others made only relatively brief appearances. The Hulk fell into the latter category. And while the big guy was mostly overshadowed by his alter ego Bruce Banner after his early defeat at Thanos' hands, he surely won't be out of action for much longer. Here's why. And Hulk. <sighs> Smash. <sighs> inner Demons The Hulk we saw in Infinity War was clearly struggling with his inner demons, not least the shame of his initial encounter with Thanos. Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizards. As it turns out, however, there's actually a lot more going on, too. As co-director Joe Russo explains on the Infinity War commentary, I think ultimately what it is is that he's tired of playing hero right. to uh, Bruce Banner. One way or the other, Hulk's unwillingness to participate in the events of Infinity War was a crucial part of both his and Banner's character arcs. This has only been a good thing for the Hulk's legacy in the wider MCU. As fascinating as Banner's struggles can be, the on-screen Hulk has been a little too one-dimensional character for a little too long. This twist should bring some new depth to a character who, for many, is regarded as little more than a big green wrecking ball. And Avengers 4 is as good a chance as any to solidify Hulk's legacy as a three-dimensional character. Jekyll meets Hyde In 2018, Mark Ruffalo hinted at a rocky future for the relationship between Bruce Banner and the Hulk. And the only one who Banner probably dislikes more than anything else is Hulk. And they're, they're headed for a showdown. That showdown he mentions never really occurred in Infinity War, leaving the door wide open for these warring personalities to clash in Avengers 4. Between Ruffalo's remarks about a Hulk-Banner showdown and the Russo statements about Hulk getting tired of bailing out Banner, Avengers 4 could even be the point at which the MCU gets its first taste of Professor Hulk, a character created in the comics when Hulk and Banner united into a single personality, combining the latter's brains and the former's brawn. Avengers 4 concept art leaked in 2018 depicting the Hulk in an Avengers team outfit would seem to back up this possibility. Running the Gauntlet some fans have suggested that, in Avengers 4, Tony Stark will end up going back in time, gathering up past versions of the Infinity Stones along the way in order to build his own Infinity Gauntlet. And if he succeeds, it stands to reason that somebody with a fair amount of heft is going to be needed to wield it once it's made. The idea that this gauntlet-slinging giant could be Hulk becomes even more appealing when you take a Professor Hulk scenario into consideration. If the Hulk and Banner do join forces and don an Infinity Gauntlet, it's hard to imagine that it wouldn't be a powerful enough combo to put Thanos out of action once and for all. A one-sided fight Another Avengers 4 rumor posits that, at some point during the movie, the Hulk will end up losing an arm. But let's be completely honest here, it's not like he'd be the first. Do I look like Iron Man Stark is not- <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so- oh. I'm sure that's gonna be okay. So what could possibly happen that would lead to Earth's greenest hero losing his arm? Three words, Stark's Infinity Gauntlet. If the Hulk were to take on Thanos, gauntlet against gauntlet, it would stand to reason that the only way to win would be the removal of the opponent's gauntlet, by whatever means necessary. Take all these pieces and put them together, and you get a picture of Banner and Hulk uniting into Professor Hulk, wielding an Infinity Gauntlet against Thanos and losing an arm in the process. Wild conjecture? You bet. But then again, so is basically everything else surrounding Avengers 4 right now. The story's in. We may not know much about what Marvel has planned for whatever happens after Infinity War, but we do know that the Hulk's carefully developed story arc has been one of the most compelling and crucial elements of the late-stage MCU. Mark Ruffalo has made it clear in the past that we've been watching an entire Hulk story taking place throughout Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers 4. Avengers 4 constitutes the third act in that arc, typically where the hero faces his fears, earns redemption, and wins a great victory. This movie won't just be the conclusion of the fight against Thanos and the culmination of the first chapter of the MCU, but also the climax of the Hulk's unofficial trilogy too. 